Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. I want to talk to you guys about some Team of Knockout Stage stuff that has been going on uh, so far in this promo. I'm sure a lot of you guys have seen the prices of these cards, and it is honestly pretty astonishing. We've had two days of packs of lightning rounds and of content from this Team of Knockout Stage promo. I want to take a look at the uh, cards that are in packs right now, maybe a few of their prices. Will they be investable out of packs? And um, are they going to hit their lowest point early on right now while the uh, most of the packs are going to be opened? Uh, so let's actually go take a look right now at the squad. I, I want to apologize as well for not uploading the past couple of days, having some internet issues with just being able to get the videos actually uploaded to YouTube. So there, um, that's the situation that's going on with that. Um, but let's take a look at this team. I mean, you see Ronaldo at 3.8 million coins. Like, that Ronaldo, a 98 Ronaldo at 3.98 million coins is, uh, I think a lot of people, and it's not just about Ronaldo. Well, I clicked on the wrong one. It's not just about Ronaldo, but so many of these cards are just very, very low. And it makes me really think that a lot of people actually opened up, saved, saved up packs, 3880 for Ronaldo right there, the left wing. Um, it makes me think that a lot of people opened, saved up packs, and that's, um, People are just kind of either scared because Team of the Season is coming and they know that's coming, um, or they're just kind of afraid to buy right now. This card right here, I thought this card would still carry the hype. Um, I lost some coins on this card because I was trying to flip overnight from Friday into Saturday. I bought them at like 7.30 and actually ended up selling them before uh, at like 7.20. So I, I broke even on transfer profit just about and I lost uh, tax on four Van Dykes that I bought last night because I thought this card was going to rise up to 800. Now, most of the time what happens when a new team is in packs, they go cheap during lightning rounds. Um, maybe if they'd run NA lightning rounds later in the evening, uh, you know, like midnight UK, they kind of hit a low point and then they start to get more rare on the market as people try them out the next day in the weekend league. But so many of these cards, and I, I made a tweet about this. Um, I made a tweet about this today, actually, that a lot of these cards... Actually, almost all of these cards have special items already. It's not really, um, none of these items are really new cards that people just want to go out and try. Maybe a Willian, maybe the Aubameyang, the Tadic, the Nerez, the Kolasinac. I mean, those are kind of the guys that you would go out and try because they haven't had any special cards yet throughout the year. Van Dyke has had so many special cards. PK, um, Sterling, Messi, Son, Fer uh, Firmino has a few, Mane has like three he's got in the past couple of weeks with the champions league man of the match the player of the month and now this uh team the knockout stage card and you know sane as well has got a ton of different special cards uh, and so does abamian he's got a couple as well so it's just like people didn't really feel the need to try some of these cards because um they're not new i mean they're just new upgraded versions and people must be thinking with team of the season in mind. Now, I wanna look at this Van Dyke card again because this is something that interests me and we're gonna to have to kind of keep watch on. 729 right now on Xbox. He was as low as 700K flat uh, today. If we look at his graph, 667 at one point during the lightning rounds, he's now up to 729. So if you were able to buy in this like 680 kind of price range, that was a decent buy for you on the Xbox, but I want to take a look at how this 93 compares to the 92 Road to the Final card. Since the 93 has come out, this Road to the Final card has tanked. Look at this. He was 845,000 coins after their game, after they won versus Porto during the week. And look where he's at now, 640k. Yes, this item is still alive. Yes, this item could get upgraded to a 93, um, but I think a lot of people sold this card because... Um, he's gonna. He has a very high possibility to win Young Player of the Year. Excuse me, not Young Player of the Year. Player of the Year from the Premier League. So we could see his Team of the Season card come out early in that respect. Um, I'll talk about the uh, Player of the Year stuff uh, here in just a little bit. But uh, there's a lot of panic on this card, and I wanted to show you guys this especially because I haven't heard a ton of people talk about this. But this 92 Van Dyke was kind of like the best version that wasn't the team of the year. So obviously it was 800K, but the team of the year version is up here at 1.3 million coins. So this was the more affordable version, and it was the best until now we have this, uh, the 93 rated card. But looking through the rest of this team, I know Sun seems pretty cheap to me because his headliner card is like a million coins. So this card being at 600K is pretty 
I think on the low side, I think it should be 700 on Xbox, maybe 750, closer to 800 on on, PA, on PS. But it's just like nobody wants to buy cards right now, and that's kind of just the whole um, mantra to the market. Like nobody wants to buy these new cards. Other cards are doing well. Other past Team of the Weeks, they have gone up. Uh, you look at some of the Carnival cards, they were panic sold a bunch uh, leading up to the 6 p.m. promo, I had a couple tweets out. Wow, this is a serious situation right here. Thomas Muller, 64K. Wow. He must be taking a hit because of the Max Cruz uh, Player of the Month. Interesting. That's a car that I'm going to have to look at. If I see low 60s, I'm going to have to go uh, take a look and possibly buy that. But a lot of these cards rebounded uh, very well from where they were at. Now, this Yoris is down a lot because of him, him getting the new Team of the Knockout Stage card. But a lot of the cards were panic sold and then rebounded very well um, through the weekend leak. And I had a few flips. I, I posted those on Twitter as well on Friday um, of some cards that I was able to flip. Now, I want to talk about some content that we still have here in the, the store. Today, we got an SBC, which was the team of the tournament SBC, and it gave out UCL Supply. I actually have this uh, pack and a Flash Bear flashback player pack to open kind of as like a reward for no videos the past two days for you guys i'm gonna have those packs to open at the end but we got this ucl supply today so if we go on footbin i want to take a look at this as well we're gonna this is our usual ucl rare card supply this is how it looks every time we see that the, the market just completely drop off when this three player pack or whatever tradable ucls they drop on the market um today was when i looked at the market a lot uh what i saw today Today was just a good day to club stock. Uh, you could club stock. Again, they probably released these cards back onto the game because they were getting so rare after being used up in those UCL premium upgrades. Uh, people were grinding to those. There were a lot of people that were doing those UCL premium upgrades, um, even though those packs were just awful uh, for most people. But um, today is a good time and probably still is to catch some on bid because this SBC is still out in the store uh, to get some of those UCL rare cards on bid now i don't have very many in my club um but i will go check a few of them right now some of like the sbc type uh cards we'll have to take a look and see where some of these cards are at man Jukic down here at twelve thousand coins that is pretty cheap um considering these cards supply is still pretty low because they've only had a couple rounds of supply um is this one bought no it's not bought somebody bid 12.5 i'll throw it in the club an 85 rated uh UCL rare card for 12,000 coins. Not too shabby in my opinion. You can do that with a lot of the stuff right now. Maybe look for some 84s. Um, one of my favorite 84s to trade with earlier in the year was Juan Mata's um, UCL rare card. The version of him looks like he's a bit inflated for an 84 rated right now. 15K looks a bit, looks a bit high to me. Uh, but a lot of these cards are pretty cheap and you can find open bids and you can get on the open bids and they're still pretty rare So I don't imagine an SBC coming out with that would maybe um, Require these cards again until uh, the next round of Champions League play which is actually in about 10 days It's on the 30th uh, on the 30th of April is the next Champions League game that is Spurs Ajax semifinal game So that's something that we have to kind of look forward to as well uh, but I remember I sold a De Rossi that I had in my club for max price, 30, 35,000 coins um, when that UCL Premium SBC comes out. And if Team of the Season has not started by the time those next Champions League games come back around, uh, I bet they could drop that UCL Premium SBC again and we could see those UCL Rare cards sky back up into the hype. So that's a pretty low risk investment. Basically the best way to go and find uh, cards to stock your club with for the SBC fodder um, UCL rare cards you can go to the cheapest cheapest players by rating tab on footbin right here you can click on the UCL rare and then you can uh, apply filter and then you're gonna see all the UCL rare cards uh, by the rating so the 84s you see down here Adon is at 5k Pizzi is at 6k Subasic, Felipe, Savic, some 83 rated as well. And then if you want to find the 85s and above, just go to FIFA 19 players, select the version UCL rare, and then choose your rating over here. Just make it 85, search by custom filter, and then search by order by Xbox price. You have to click it twice, and then boom, you're down here the cheapest 85 rated Manjukic, Ziyech, Lopez, Neto, Bernardo Silva, 
Bernardo Silva at 16-5. Now that is interesting. I'm going to actually go check, take a look at that. That is Premier League. That is good links. So we're going to go take a look at, at that here just for a second. But this is a pretty good uh, safe method to just club stock. Uh, if you do think that they could require some of these SBC, some of these cards again, which I think is very plausible, um, the next time that they run um, Champions League promo, Champions League, any type of Champions League content, I'm going to add this one to my transfer targets, see if we can get that one on a bid. But also, today was a pretty decent day to club stock golds as well. The second day of lightning rounds is usually when you see stuff go the lowest. Thomas Muller right now, 19,000 coins, 18,750. That's pretty cheap for an 86 nowadays in the game. You have to think about that used to not be very cheap for the 86s. Um, but if we go back over here to cheapest players by rating and we clear filters and just go back to normal and look at the 86 rated players, they're back at 20K. And I mean, if you look how it's been in the past couple of weeks, Everything has been, you know, down to 19k at its lowest point, and then boom, up to 28, settling down to 23 to 26. So a lot of these higher-rated cards, the SBC fodder cards, have a higher uh, price range now. They are worth more because of all the icon SBCs that are on the game. So that's going to continually keep their price a lot higher. And I actually saw a lot of people this weekend. You could tell. They opened some packs, they got some coins from whatever was going on this weekend, and they were able to go out and finish uh, some Prime Icon Moments SBCs. Now, whenever I flip through the Icon section like this, my FIFA freezes. As you can tell right now, it is frozen. It's going to reset me. There it goes. But that's kind of a pain. We'll hop right back into foot as soon as I can. Um, but it, th all those icons that are out and the people doing them, I saw on Twitter today so many screenshots of people that were completing Icon SBCs um, it just goes to show me that people are using those new coins that they got, putting them into Icon SBC. So looking at, again, maybe if we have lightning rounds today on Sunday, it could be a last chance opportunity or another opportunity, not a last chance, um, to pick up some of these gold cards um, because we should get more SBCs. We probably will get another SBC today on Sunday with the another team in the knockout stage player SBC. And that could rise some demand for uh, cards, depending on um, what kind of card we get, obviously the requirements. Um, but that's a shout um, to stock your, your club with some of these high-rated golds as well. Um, as I would imagine that they would climb out of this promo ever so slightly um, until we do hit Team of the Season where there will be tons of packs opened and everything pack-oriented will kind of come back during Team of the Season. And then you'll want to have your club kind of clear those high-rateds because they will go down. Um, for that, uh, but we'll take a look at that when that comes. Uh, but again, today was just kind of like a club stock or a club fill kind of day. You know, the UCL rare cards, the um, the gold cards as well. Sniping on lightning rounds, bidding on lightning rounds. You're gonna have one last opportunity to do that today. And honestly, you could do it during squad battle rewards as well. I mean, you think about this week, um, the the weekly objectives. Um, actually, it shows here on the screen as I'm loading in the uh, the Zhao Felix. 84 rated striker from Benfica, that card that uh, he in real life is getting very pumped up right now. There's a lot of hype around his card. So there's a lot of people that played squad battles this week, myself included. You see that uh, earlier today I went through some games and I was just scoring my Portugal goals to get that card. I am now in gold two. You're going to see a lot of people that get the rewards this week. What is a gold two reward? Prime mixed players pack and a premium gold players pack. So I will, I will probably maintain my rank here in gold two and uh get a couple packs this week so th there's going to be a lot of people that do that so you might see some extra supply of the um, team of the knockout stage cards you might see some extra supply on those just because there's going to be packs opened on sunday night with those rewards and as well with the gold cards and that's a lesser busy time on fifa but there's still a lot of packs opened so that's a really really good time to get on bids for the high rated golds um, if you do have a chance to do that when squad battle rewards come out. So this video is going long already. Um, so I will quickly mention uh, player of the year. We'll go over here to Twitter and take a look at the PFA player of the year. They actually shouted out today the nominees for the player of the year. We should see these SBCs coming up in the next couple of weeks. I will maybe look into this a little bit more deeply um, in the next couple of days. We have Van Dyke. Hazard, Mane, Bernardo Silva, Sterling, and Aguero with Aguero, Sterling, and 
Van Dyke kind of being the front runners for the player of the year. Now we also have the young player of the year, which that is right, that is right here. Where is the young player of the year? I just had it. Young player of the year, boom. Nominees for the young player of the year are Trent Alexander-Arnold, uh, who's this guy? Brooks? David Brooks from Bournemouth, Marcus Rashford, Declan Rice, Bernardo Silva, and Raheem Sterling. It's gonna be Raheem Sterling. If he does not win the Player of the Year award, he will win the Young Player of the Year award. In my opinion, and I think a lot of people would be in agreement with this, Van Dyke will win the Player of the Year, and Sterling will win the Young Player of the Year. Now, investments for this stuff, last year, we'll, we'll take a look at some of these the SBCs that they released last year for like the Neymar, for the Mbappe. Um, I think maybe I'm thinking of FIFA 17, but there was a Conte and a Deli Ali. I think that was FIFA 17. I kind of forget who it was last year, to be honest. Um, but we'll take a look at those SBCs later this week, maybe gear up for those, maybe find some investments. But right now, it looks like a lot of the Sterling informs are up. A lot of the Van Dyke informs are up and invested in. I mean, if you go look at Van Dyke's uh, Champions League card, his cheapest special version, I mean, this card was well under 300K when the supply came out for UCL cards, and he's now up to 300K. So that's something that you kind of want to watch with this uh, a lot of this stuff is already invested in i will not be in investing uh personally in some of these sbcs there are going to be some people that might might make a lot of money because these sbcs will be expensive uh because these cards that they will come out for the player of the year cards will basically be team of the season quality they will get team of the season boosts and the player of the year cards will match the rating of that team of the season card they will get uh in a couple weeks when that promotion uh, does come out but back to focus focusing on the things at hand let's open up our two packs we have the ucl three player pack and the flashback player pack we'll open these really quick to finish out the video we do not get a walkout in a ucl pack germany center back hoffenheim who is this Vogt 81 rated all right we'll take that we got a couple of these players in the club at least for something we'll send those to the club and then the flashback player i did this sbc for around a hundred thousand coins just because it was a lot cheaper because of the the packs and everything if this sbc is still available when you're watching this video which i think it's going away um it's a lot cheaper now than it was before just because of the high rated golds going down obviously it's a walkout we are getting a flashback player in a pack who's it going to be spanish right back monfran not the best definitely not the best but you know what i'll throw him in the squad he will probably get thrown into an sbc at some point this year um, i know a lot of people use this card early on and he actually links pretty well to um, some of the players that i do have in the back of my team i have a ramos i have a godin untradeable i have some obla i have an oblock ucl oblock so we'll throw that one front in the club not the best but it's okay. Again, if you're looking to buy some stuff this weekend, I would just say be careful. Look for the quick flips again. You see that I am very liquid. Um, I still have a few investments on my transfer list. I have some Man of the Match Yoris that I'm just kind of holding. Um, I'm just kind of waiting to see if this card will get rare and recover in the next coming weeks. And I also have some Man of the Match Laporte as well still uh, that I got at 130K. I'm really hoping that they up his price range. And I would like to see what happens with that card. But again, look for one last opportunity to club stock today with the golds or get on some bids for UCL rare cards and be tuned in for squad battle rewards if you can to maybe pick up some deals. Then if you enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.